Well, tonight, we're now down to just hours before the first passenger jet takes off from Mobile's new downtown airport at Brooklyn. Yeah, so the paint is dry, <laughs> the chairs are in place, all that's missing is the plane and passengers. Tyler Finger got an exclusive look inside. He's live with us here in the studio. Tyler, tell us, you got the sneak peek. How does it look? It looks great, Lenise and Byron. The ticket counters are ready for customers, and the TSA is ready to screen passengers. All that's left is tomorrow's big celebration and a Frontier flight flying high. Today, an all-out race at the downtown terminal. Uh, it will be ready by noon tomorrow. To make sure all the seat belts are fastened. We're crossing T's and dotting I's as we speak. Wednesday's first flight, months in the making. There's like a million people working over there today just to finish up. This is the walkway that passengers will be using to board the Frontier flights that will go to Chicago and Denver. To start, Frontier will have five weekly flights and via air, which will have a parking space nearby, will operate for the more direct flights that we have the better off the city of Mobile is going to be. Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson along with Chris Curry from the Mobile Airport Authority will be on the first flight to Chicago a chance to celebrate a new airline and a new destination. It's a big day for the authority and for the community as a whole. I mean, to have a low cost carrier like Frontier in the market serving two major cities is huge for us. Today, the airport authority released the price of parking. Each hour will cost $1 and the daily rates are eight bucks for long term parking and $10 for short term. There will be a big celebration tomorrow at the airport. Fox 10 News is committed to covering covering that for you. Byron.